Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 And Brett lent me his Lamborghini. Oh, oh hey. I, oh, <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> Yo, you took the what was it? The the Lambo. The Lambo. That's what it was. I was trying to. What figure. do I call that thing? I was, I was about to call it the Lammy, which wasn't it. And then the I was going to nickname whatever you want, King. Whoa, yeah. dude. Yeah. The Lammy. Hey, you, you <laughs> own this Lammy, man. Lammy. Yeah. <laughs> I like Lammy better, honestly. <laughs> Great. Let's yeah, you me. drove the Lammy around. <laughs> I hate it. My brain, my brain completely cleared out, just being like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> First of all, I would never own a Lamborghini. I I'm far too practical with my cars for that. I just that that just sounds like it's, it'd be uh, it'd be put it, this on the IO wiki. Brett the, would never own a Lamborghini. I would never own it. Well, mm. I, to be never okay, own a Lammy. I would never <laughs> own a yeah. Lammy. Well, to uh, well, I mean, so to be f to be fair, right? I don't necessarily know what the appeal of the Lamborghini is besides the name. So maybe if I see one out in the wild, I may I, I might be swayed and and get I'm one eventually. Honest. I have no idea what a Lamborghini looks like. Like I, if you really? showed me a lineup of cars, I would not be able to point it out. <laughs> it's like a rocket. Not at all. Same. Okay. Dude, the amount I of bros you. that point to a fucking spacecraft and go like, oh yeah, dude, that's like a fucking Lamborghini 53021. Yeah. And I'm like, how do you fucking know this shit? <laughs> Well, Lamborghini. They're car guys, Greg. They're car guys. I'm not a car guy. No, so but they're never even like car guys. Brand, they're just like normal it. bros who are just like, oh yeah, dude, that that's that. And I'm like, how well, do you know all the brands? They has, know. They just know. Has anyone used the term Lambussy yet? I just want to make sure. Oh, I, I hope not. Check. Probably it exists. You did. You did. did it on just Twitter. Now. That's it's on you. Now. Fingers crossed. The fan artists are already going at it. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> 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 Uh, all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. I know it's been a few weeks. I know you guys are in the middle of a very harrowing battle, but that's okay because we're gonna go oh. we're gonna go through everything that has explain how I got has, here has happened yes, to this fight. Geez. Look, what I, class am I playing? I think Artificer. <laughs> maybe. Know, what man. class am I? What class am I? Is this blood in the lower left corner or like a map? Did oh, you no, stop playing music? I. I <laughs> Benji, it's just it's just the wind. It's okay, but Oh my god, it's so loud for me. One second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I oh have it at twenty five thirty percent. That's not you, it's the me. The urgency with which you asked that was insane. Are you playing music right now? <laughs> it it sounded like like, like white noise. Yeah. You know it's quiet hours, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Scared me, man. No Lamborghini hours right now, bud. Uh okay. yeah, so um Oh boy, it's. I'm trying to get the, do the full the, uh, the, the 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 TLDR is the the overall arcing story so far has been you've been trying to a escape the shadow veil, but also b uh, kind of figure out what's going on with uh, with QB and Olive's memories that seem to be sealed because they seem to have something similar uh, with uh, experiences uh, that you guys have had while exploring through these multiple worlds and veils. Um, there are things that these two uh, have forgotten. And so you've kind of taken what was a side quest now turned into the overarching story of the season is just trying to figure out what the heck those memories are before hopping out to uh, try to figure out a way to get back home. Uh, to do that, you guys have conjured uh, the memory amalgamation. We won't go into all of that. Um, but the memory amalgamation is essentially a, a construct of all of your previous characters' lives assembled into one mishmash world of dreams and nightmares. Um, as you've been exploring through, a hostile presence have been slowing you down as you were trying to solve the final piece of the puzzle that is both Olive and QB's memory. As you have approached, you were given a sort of fork in the road. Uh, one led to a heavenly staircase that ascended up into the lights. The other into a very dark and medical room. Uh, you guys have decided to ascend up the stairs just to kind of see what all of that is about. And you've arrived into what you thought was potentially the, the memory amalgamations continuance. 
However, uh, you have uh, Brolvec, who is not in the amalgamation with you here, and he's kind of explaining that the temple that you were at to kind of like mix match all of these memories together to that to actually that you guys use to cast the ritual um, seems to have transformed into this holy, bright, radiant temple and, and castle. Uh, you have been facing off against a, a, a numerous amount of creatures known as aspects. Uh, these are essentially or sorry, uh, concepts. Uh, these concepts are are just that. They are concepts of someone else's memory that has been taken into, that has been conjured and brought to, to life. It's not actually them, but in fact, some sort of foul construct of um, what was someone's belief or memory of an individual. Um, real, real heavy meta, Deep shit. Uh, you faced off against um, um, some waxy angels, some divas. You faced off against a, a nasty archmage who retreated. And then you faced off against uh, the knights of an all king. Uh, one seemingly hesitant on facing off against you, all the other uh, very cruel and very barbarous to each and every one of you. Uh, you slayed the bar, you, you slayed. Uh, the barbarous uh, warrior, uh, while the other kind of lost the will to fight a little bit um, and has accepted its surrender. <clears throat> Continuing on to hopefully dispel this illusionary prison that you guys are in, you've ascended up over to the top of the tower. Uh, there, you found uh, a man who uh, has called himself All King Tenebrom. Uh, he's explained to you that he is linked to Olive uh, from an incident that happened uh, over a thousand years ago, specifically with um, with Bree's first character, uh, Ven, uh, who was transformed into a weapon uh, after she had slain uh, the gods of Div and Void. Uh, while she was weaponized in this, she kind of gave herself an objective uh, to slay her greatest enemy, which in this case, uh, was the resurrected All King Tenebrom, who, uh, after being thrown into a pit of void by one plucky little turtle, uh, essentially became corrupted, transforming into a beast of the void. Uh, uh, Ven of the Black Star uh, found, uh, all, um, kind of returned back to her original palace, uh, or at least the ruins of. Uh, along with all King Tenebrom, who also did. And these were, this was all very instinctual. Um, and in a, after a battle that sort of happened off screen, uh, Ven emerged victorious, decapitating all King Tenebrom. But because of Ven's hatred for her, her once former father, the memory of Tenebrom sort of became attached uh, to Bree's uh, character's memory. So right now, kind of rattling it within Olive's brain, uh, is uh, the memory of Ven. Uh, the memory of Kit, the memory of uh, Piquel, uh, another memory, which we don't know about, uh, as well as the memory of Tenebrom. And this sort of illusionary prison that you guys are in is the conjuration of all King Tenebrom's memory, who has now come to life in this sort of conjured dreamscape, or the, not dreamscape, I don't want to cause any confusion, this, this conjured landscape. Uh, after some back and forth, you try to convince Olive or let know that, hey, there's something evil and dark within you. It's not you, you're not the bad guy, and it's definitely not me because I'm all righteous and whatnot. Um, but it is unfortunately my daughter, Ven, who is vengeful, evil, and, and mean. So what we could do uh, is just eradicate the memory of Ven, and then we can get out of here. Uh, I'll do my thing. You guys do your own thing. And it's all great. Uh, and uh, yeah, after that, uh, you all decided, no, no, this guy's sus as hell. And you initiated uh, essentially a combat with them. him. You started uh, to fight. He pretty much went shame, shame, shame. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and kill you all. So that way I can escape this uh, illusionary area. And you have been facing off against the memory of all King Tenebrom. That's my recap. Anything else I missed or anything you guys want me to touch up on before we get started? All right. good no, recap. good job. No, thank good recap. T-Y, 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 T-Y. That means thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, g -Mart. If you're not on the internet, just so the you know. The nine English speakers. <laughs> it means thank you. It means thank you. Very smart. Uh, 
<laughs> this is the breescape. Yeah, it kind of is at this point. <laughs> so, welcome to my dark and twisted mind. <laughs> you're in my mind. <laughs> my you're nightmare. In, you're in my world. Uh, so, uh, with that, uh, I before I get the battle music going, the initiative is still over here. Um, you've uh, been through a few phases at this point. Uh, phase, uh, so we're, we're, we're going to go through all of them really quick, just sort of as a recap of what this fight has been, because I know it's been a, it has been some time. Uh, the first thing, uh, the first phase you went through was the ritual. Tenebrom has requested aid of the party to end the prison they've all been sentenced to. By shattering the corrupted memory of Ven, Tenebrom's daughter, Tenebrom can shatter the illusion everyone has sealed in, allowing safe passage back to Io. A fraction of life force must be sacrificed by each party member of the ritual circle, except for Olive. Um, so this, yeah, six ritual circles were uh, created at this point. You guys went, nah, not doing that, and then took your shots at All King, uh, which uh, ended that phase. Phase two is reason with steel. All King Tenebrom um, stated, I was prepared for this. Simple-minded individuals let fear rule their actions. Very well, if you won't listen to reason, then I shall reason with steel. I do not need you to alive to complete the ritual. Instead, I will break you. All King Tenebrom then summoned Conjured Blades of Tenebrom, as well as Div's Protection. Uh, Div's Protection immediately went uh, into protection mode. Uh, Div's Protection granted all King Tenebrom the following. Plus three AC, plus three to saving throws, regeneration 20, multi-attack plus one, and then all King Tenebrom. Um, oh, nope, ignore that. Uh, oh, whoops, I'm reading the wrong thing. Leave that, R have that. all of that leave your mind. <laughs> there it I is. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Uh, Div's protection in protection mode is, uh, sorry, plus 10 to AC, plus 5 to all saving throws, resistance to all damage sources, any save for half effects becomes save for none. All Kingdom Brom cannot take any actions or bonus actions while this is active. You guys were attacking, attacking, attacking. His defense is very, very strong, so you weren't able to break through those defenses. Um, once that broke... Uh, went into protection mode. Protection mode ended. I'm going through everything. It then went into deflection mode. While in this mode, all King Tenebrom gained the following. Plus five to AC versus ranged weapon attacks. Uh, plus three to all saving throws. Uh, same thing. Any save for half effect becomes save for none. All King Tenebrom cannot take any actions or bonus checks while this is active. And all King Tenebrom gains a special reaction ability during this mode, uh, which I believe Kopi encountered, um, which was... Let me see if I can find it. I have to go through all of my notes. The Divine Duel, um, which was a lot of rules we don't have to go over again. Um, but the TLDR was uh, all King Tenebrom and uh, Kopi exchange blows. Uh, instead of using AC, uh, it was who had the highest attack roll. Um, so that uh, you guys were doing that back and forth, I believe. If for, a duel. for six rounds, yeah. you guys were dueling. Um, if there were um, essentially, and so essentially, every time you succeed in an attack. Uh, you gained up um you took away a point from all king tenebrom but every time all king tenebrom won an attack he gained a point uh if he got to three points uh he did a super attack that would have been devastating over to kopi um if he if he failed uh got to a negative three score um you all uh, he would have been paralyzed allowing you to essentially do something massive over to all king tenebrom um Neither happened within the six rounds. It was an exchange back and forth um, with all King Tenebrom's attacks being uh, pretty nasty. Here's a friendly reminder of that. There we go. So that's uh, all King Tenebrom's conjured sword. Of you rolled two ones. Tenebrom. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Lucky. <laughs> yeah, roll 2-1, still 17 slashing. It's still 30 points of damage. <laughs> right, row. Um... After uh, clearing through all King Tenebrom's first bar of hit points, um, he went immediately in protection mode and entered into phase three, which you all had, um, which you all are currently in. Uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. Phase three 
is Crowley's aide. He stated, come to me, my archmage. Oh, and then shit, Crowley right. appeared, as you command, my old king. Uh, the archmage that retreated from you guys before after after I, uh, lightly rocking your house a little bit, uh, returned back, same, same uh, hit point bar, same spells, um, and you guys made very quick work of him while Tenebrom began uh, regenerating their hit points while in protection mode, which was giving him regeneration 20. He is now back to full health, um, which means all King uh, Tenebrom's protection mode has now dropped. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me see here. Oh, it went into... Okay, so now... The initiative counter is 17. Kopi's turn is about to begin. <laughs> and he has just entered... Uh, let me see here. What mode? Retribution mode. Hog. All right. So, uh, in retribution mode, and this is where we are at currently... It is protection retribution. Let me go ahead and link this right now. Woo! While in this mode, all King Tenebrom gains the following. Plus 10 to movement speed. Three legendary actions. Three legendary resistance. This persists outside of this mode. So even if he switches modes, those legendary resistance persists. However, to use the legendary resistances, all King Tenebrom also must permanently lower his AC by one, which persists for the rest of the fight. Ooh. All right. Any questions before we continue on? Hopefully that was a thorough recap Legendary. of the battle. Your God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember beating the fuck out of that wizard now. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, he's dead. That's what that bloody spot is. That's, uh, I that's turned him into yeah, it's the <laughs> remains of a dude. <laughs> the remains of a, of a, of a, of a dead wizard. Yeah. Was, was attacking, uh, him the thing that engages that, like, kind of dual mode every time you attack, or is it just. So I think the, that was during that phase. That was during. Well, it's already done. It's yeah, already done. Okay. that was specifically. Okay. Good. I'm good. I'm good. During that phase. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's. Whew. After explaining all that, I am. Uh, I'm tired. Can we take a nap? You guys cool? <laughs> I'm <laughs> beat. Yeah. Take a little break. Nap. Go. Nap. Nap time. <laughs> nap. Okay. Let's. Uh... Is there a way to see if we have any like buffs on us or because I uh, forgot? Yes, <laughs> uh, I will actually go that right now. Uh, Olive currently has bless upon her. Awesome. QB has bless mage armor and emboldening bond. Awesome. Um, uh, Remo, uh, I think was dodging is not anymore because he beat the Finger shit guns. out of that guy. Yep. Uh, uh huh. Oh, I think it was dodge action because. He was in the defensive phase, so we oh. were just kind of standing around waiting. Then I will place you back in the dodge action. The only question I have is for Artie. Where's Artie? I think Artie was wrapped around someone's arm at this point. Uh, Tontu's arm, I That's, think. That, oh, is, shoot, sorry. that is what I, I thought. You're good. Uh, it's on my shoulder, actually. Very good. He's strangling very Tontu. <laughs> oh my god! He's gonna kill him! Uh, Tontu also has Bless and Bolding Bond. Uh, also took the dodge action. Um, and also, Tontu... You got that lovely little uh, aura. Uh, that little 10-foot aura, if you want to do that. Mm. And finally, Kope. Kope's got Rage, Bless, Deadly Style, and Emboldening Bond. Whew! All right. <laughs> Rip the band-aid, let's get it done. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh, oh. um. Oh. Hold on one second. That's really loud for me. Uh, How do I change it on my end? Uh, go just go to the music. Yeah, uh, right side, playlist, the music note. Go to user volume control. You can adjust playlists, uh, ambience, and interface that way. Let me know when you've done adjusted that, and then we will begin. Okay, I did. And then we will begin. <laughs> Kopi, it is your turn. Uh, I, I never attacked at all. No, I think we. I think I quite. I, I think we literally ended on your. Um, we ended on your turn. Okay. Uh, I'll just do a dual blade deadly style. 
Um. Yeti, yeti, yeti! Step, step. Uh, 22 successfully hits, dealing 17 points of damage. Jesus. Very good. One more time. One more time. Uh, that one misses. You'll watch mm. as the All King sort of like, with his hand, you know, holding the blade um, out. And, you know, he's just trying to deflect your blows. And as you go in for that stab, he releases the sword from his hand. And the sword, almost as if taking the life of its own, just sort of just immediately deflects the, the spear off from you. And uh, the All, All King Tenebrom will turn over to Kopi. Just kind of with a with a look of purpose, as of like, yeah, you're next. That was your action. You have a bonus action and movement remaining. Um, I'm good. And where was the end turn? <laughs> All good. The cross swords in the upper right hand corner. If you select that, you'll see um, an oh, end turn yeah, in the combat okay. tracker. You're good. As a legendary action, he will look over at Kopi and just state. Hold. And uh, you'll watch as uh, Imprisoning Magic tries to take hold of you. Oh. He casts Hold Person. Please give me a Wisdom Saving Throw, Kopi. Oh no. Uh. That is oh, a no. failure. Okay. Uh, you become, I believe it is, yes. Uh, your body just, just seizes up as you become paralyzed. Uh, and he uh, looks like he's about to approach you. Does Kopi have emboldening bond? Uh, on... Yes. So you can add a D4 to that if you would like. Ooh, thought... The math doesn't check out. Uh, no, add it, was... add it, do it. Add it anyway, let's see what happens. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, <laughs> can, I'm serious. You can do it once per turn, so you may no, as well I use thought, it. No, I thought, like, since it's on me, it already adds it, no? Uh, the, no the emboldening, oh. uh, um, yeah, the, the only oh, thing that's currently one. adding right now is bless, oh, okay, so you'll okay. have to roll 1d4. There might be some other things that are oh, happening manual. here. Yeah, I was gonna say, oh. roll it, Alex. It's bless, case, and then my, case. I have an aura that gives you plus three to all saving throws. Oh. So okay, so that's 14. I'm, that's I'm gonna 18. Use... No, you don't have to use anything because oh. of the aura. Um, that's happening oh. here. Plus, uh, okay. what was the bonus again, Pontu? Plus three. It was, it was Bless and the plus three aura. All right. Bless has already been applied. 11 plus three is 14 with the Bolding Bond. Uh, eight. And uh, the paralysis just completely shatters away. Yay. You successfully saved. Nice. Okay. I, I just assume that, like, everything is, like, automatically rolling because I've been told that. But um, You're good. I'll... I'll remember for now. Yeah, the time. only thing that time. doesn't automatically end is emboldening bond, and that's because I, it's literally just a, a tracking effect. Uh, Bless is already programmed like choice, to auto-roll. Right? Uh, yeah, and also, yeah, since emboldening bond is a choice to use, we can't uh, automatically add it. You have to choose when you'd I like see. to add it. Yeah. But you're good. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, completely saved. Uh, now, it is Olive's turn. All right. Um... What do I want to do? I don't want to get too close, probably. So I also don't want us to be kind of like lined up either. Um, so I'm going to go over here. OK, um, but I am going to cast uh, da, 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 healing word on Kopi. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll do level one, just a little top off. For six. All right, you, uh, Kopi's gonna heal for six health. Perfect. And I will end my turn there. Uh, at the end of Olive's turn, All King Tenebrom takes- Kopi will Olive. <laughs> Slay. <laughs> All King Tenebrom, taking a legendary action, will look over at Olive and state, I'm tired of your witchery. And then he'll sort of flick his hand out. And as he does that, uh -oh. um, he will cast Dispel magic, ending your bless. Oh. Bitch. I'm tired, Grandpa. <laughs> Time to put you down. Oh my god. Olive? <laughs> uh, QB, it is your turn. <clears throat> um, who, who am I emboldened bond with? Uh, Kopi and uh, Tantu? Tantu, I believe. Yeah. 
And how close do you have to be to get that? Uh, within 30, 30 feet, feet of 30 each other. Feet. Oh, okay. Or, yeah, of, a, of anyone else who has it. So I didn't mean to move there. Okay. Um, okay, um, I guess I will shortbow him. Very good. First. That will nice. hit. Nice. Nice. Hey. Um, Sneak also, attack you, is applicable. Do you know if I've used the Talisman of Blood yet this fight? Mm-mm-mm-mm. What does it do? Uh, it, it, it allows you to maximize your sneak attack damage, and I will say no. I don't think she is. Oh. Yay. Okay, I'll, I'll use that then. Nice. Uh, what is your sneak attack damage? Oh, sneak attack. Uh, 18. Oh, so your dice. 46, so it's 24 points of damage automatically. Yay. Nice. Okay. Um, And I think I'll move over here. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll, uh, attempt to spell. Okay. Okay. Ooh. You are currently stealthing, because you're, like, hiding within the mists. Okay, and then that's my turn. All right, at the end of your round, all King Tenebron will kind of, like, watch you, keeping an eye, and then you sort of fade off into the mist. You know, kind of see his head turn around a little bit. You can tell he seems to have lost track of you within the combat. And he starts looking around a little bit. He will... Yes, he will hold out his hand uh, up upon himself. And he just states, cowards only hide within the shadows. And he will cast Bless Upon Himself. Oh. I don't trust that guy. Well, that ain't good. <laughs> cowards only cast Bless on himself. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell him, Kobe. It's a good one. God, my voice is not coming up. I'm sorry. You're good. You're good. <laughs> I, 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 I'm also dealing with that, so I understand. Howie. Hey. Hey, what's up? Hey, man. <laughs> Just flapping around. I can't remember if I had some height on me. Uh, d was that established? Do you remember? Probably cool? not. Uh, no, if you did have height on you, I would have well, I would have written it down. It would your be token. A number. Got it. Cool. Cool. Um, I think I'll fly up like 30 feet into the air. Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I just start flapping up so I, c so I don't accidentally maybe hit Tontu here just to get a better angle. And you also have a uh, mage hand active, just FYI. Oh yeah, I was oh. wondering what that love was. Oh, hold on. I didn't You're, remember that. Yeah, that's Gripper. Dude, Gripper. it's Gripper. It's Gripper. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Gripper. It's Gripper. It's Gripper. Gripper. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I released Gripper from my own self, right? I, I sent it out with something that I was going to tell you about, and then I didn't tell you about it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, nice. All right, cool. cool. Did you write that down? Now, nah, do you remember what it was? <laughs> uh, What's in his hand? <laughs> uh, <laughs> a gun. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> I'll draw a gun. All right, um, I will... Uh, how do I move? Does the mage have its own turn, or do I choose to... You can use your action to control it. Okay. Um, Thumbs up. Okay, cool. I'm gonna move Gripper to the mouth of Tenebrom. Okay. I hope he remembers. He might just be winging there? it. Uh huh. To the mouth. No, wait, hold on. on. If we remember this correctly, does he have a shield up right now that I can't, like, he's an impenetrable shield? He did. Now he doesn't. It's now down. he doesn't. That is correct. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna come on Gripper with my action to pour the, uh, the vial of vampire blood into his mouth, oh. if I can. I want to splash it in his face. Why would his mouth be open? <laughs> just, just, <laughs> uh, if he's, he's always barking out shit like, to here us, comes right? the airplane? Like, Go what are you doing? <laughs> Good, but get it in there. All right. I'm that makes him stronger? I'm liking this. You're a vampire lord. I don't know. He seems radiant to me. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's this fair. seems exciting. Okie dokie. Uh, are you proficient in arcana? Yep, I think so. Let me check. We're gonna do this weird grapple check. You're gonna go ahead and do an arcana check. Okay. And uh, he's gonna try and keep that shit away from his mouth. All right. I rolled a seventeen. So <laughs> this is this is fascinating. Uh, Gripper, kind of kind of kind of paint this for me right now. So Gripper's trying to jam this file into his mouth. 
yes, and I will also use Flash of Genius because it's a genius idea to add four to the roll. All right, now hold on a second. Uh, you can use that on skill checks, is that correct? Yes, it's a it's a ability okay. check or saving through, and it's on it's my it uses my reaction. I will count it. What is your bonus? Plus four, you said. Plus four, yeah. DC is twenty one. All right, here <laughs> is the deal. Uh, yeah. If All Kington Abram fails this check, uh, we will play the result out there. However, if All Kington Abram succeeds. The vial will spill uh, out uh, and onto the ground, rendering it useless. So okay. let's see what happens. Yep, that's oh. uh, that's it. Yeah, so you kind of watch. He like, <laughs> almost he's able to grab hold of the magical hand, Fuck. and as he tosses it away, you just watch as the blood just spills and shatters Wait, all over that, the didn't ground. Did I win? Because I have a plus four on top of the seventeen. Oh, you're right. I forgot. Oh, just yeah. kidding. He grabs oh for God. the hand, and it looks like he's moving. And then you'll watch as the hand opens Fight up. Fight for it, Gripper. And spills. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh my God. And the blood will. Spill into all King Tenebrom's mouth. I'm assuming. Such a reach. I'm assuming. Uh, I'm assuming Gripper was like covering his mouth as well, so that he Just has to, to consume it. Trying to get anything in there. Give it. Yeah. Give him a little. What the hell? What the hell? Give him some smudge on the chin. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. what doctors do. All right. Uh, I gotta do some some things. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so now he's an undead creature type. Mm-hmm. So oh God. Um, oh God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Greater restoration will remove vampire blood. What if he has that? <sighs> okay, so you'll kinda uh... I, I, let me let me think for a moment. So the blood is going through and he kinda like staggers back a little bit and he's just <coughs> and he's like coughing up this blood this like darkened like amber blood on, onto his hands and you're uncertain if it's his own blood or the blood of the vial that has been placed on him and he just kind Ooh. of uh, and he just is, is seizing up a little bit you'll watch as his veins are popping and now his skin his skin will immediately begin to grow dull uh as it appears as if he's uh transforming into something, but his appearance takes on a, 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 a sickly appearance. He looks specifically over at Howie. What? What did you do to me? Science! Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I don't know. I'm just trying to fuck with you. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Cultish abomination! Darkness from the void! <coughs> All right, that was your action, Howie. Your bonus action and, f and uh, oh, you've already moved. You have a bonus action remaining. Um, I believe that my bot Artie was in protector mode. Uh, yes. Okay, I would like to activate protector mode on Artie with my bonus action. Okie dokie, let's go Just ahead and specifically see. for Kopi and Tonto. All right, give me the roll. Good day. Um... There you go. All well, right. Well, that's terrible. Uh, that is something. No one gains any temporary hit points. Oh. Okay. Because they already have one from before, right? Not ours. Okay. Uh, got it. How are you doing? Great. There you go. <laughs> See, I could keep up with you, young whippersnappers. Uh huh. What if that makes them stronger? Don't you? It couldn't <laughs> possibly. I have two questions, Brett. Yes. Is uh. Is Tim on my turn, or did something happen to him? Uh, you are currently turn. writing Tim. <laughs> is okay. Tim okay? Second Tim, question. Tim is okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, do we have an up-to-date Megaton 2 stat block? Uh, let me go ahead and uh, take a look at that. Are you transforming? If we have a stat block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We absolutely have a stat block. Um, what level are you again? Eight? Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. And it has been some time, hasn't it? Plus 11, eight, why? Okay, In, oh, interesting. 96, your HP would be 107. 107. Uh, and finally, 
Okay, Divine Smite, let's see, you get Eldritch Evasion, multi-attack, bite and claws, you can cast spells in the duration, Divine Smite becomes Eldritch Smite, base AC becomes 15, you can't use equipment, 40 foot movement to speed. Uh, yes, we're ready, uh, we're ready to go when you are. Okay. It's, it's time. It's, it's time? It's time. Yeah. He's got a Megaton too. Okay. The watch is the Eldritch Energies from Young Tim. Uh, mold in with you and you will transform into this uh this 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 beast of Void eldritch beast. energy and as you transform you're gonna watch as uh and he just seems very disgusted with all of this all right let me see if i can do this correctly transformations are weird we're gonna be doing a uh bu, 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 bu. keep 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 what if i just keep everything and then we just m merge all this stuff keep okay here we go <laughs> and yeah so you just you you enlarge to this the size this of this eldritch creature this abomination uh double checking things real quick i'm gonna go ahead and do that or er thank god i don't have to do any more work <laughs> 96 becomes and plus 11 so that's 10 oh, oh my gosh 107 all right you're good to you're you're good to go make sure you still had have, have all those features though mm -hmm. i think i just need multi attack right yeah hold on a second uh what is your initiative eight i'm just gonna do this <laughs> He's gone. He's back. I roll initiative. Oh. You have you have control of this token, correct? I can't even see anything. I'm blind. Uh. Oh my god. There has been there has been your eyes. <laughs> Once he becomes Megaton and he's in the void. I like it. I like it. There it is. Uh vision enabled. Uh understood. I'm gonna update that. I'm also going to make sure you do have control of this token. Uh, yes. All right. I'm just going to do this. Boop. Boop. Hey, there you Back. are. Roll initiative. And then your initiative is an eight. Uh, Foundry recently changed how uh, characters transform. So I do apologize for that. Here we go. All right. You're good to go. If you're missing anything, let me know. I'll add it onto your thing. But yeah, you spent the action to transform into your... Eldritch form. What would you like to do now? Attack. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, do that. You can make two claw uh, attacks as an action. Uh, yeah, and then Eldritch Smite is on a connect, right? Uh, that is correct. Uh, before you roll, there's just one last thing I'd like to, to check on. And that is your yes. I knew it. I knew it. I had to up your strength. Okay, now you're good. Now you can you can make an attack. Describe to me. Let me just check Elder Smite real quick. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, um, making sure this is proficient. You are proficient. Tonti lifts up a, a goopy void claw and uh, swings down. He watches the All King is horrified but what he sees. He's spewing blood. You're watching as these veins are like coursing up his arms and uh, then you 22. just drop yeah. down with the claw. 12 points of damage. Nice. Eldritch smite that. Yeah, you'll watch as this this goopy smite just just burst out from the attack. Uh, no. It's going to be nine damage. Nine points of uh, of force damage. Yep, and it's also he needs to make a save or be forced prone. Ooh, you're knocking him down. Let's see what we got. Oh, I don't even know. Does he make a save? I think you can just choose to knock the target prone if it's huge or smaller. Is that the oh, Elder yeah. Smite saying that? Yeah. Once the time when you hit a creature, you can expend a slot to deal extra 1d8 force damage to the target. Uh, you can knock the target prone if it's huge or smaller. Oh, okay. So if it's, uh, yeah, so you'll just go ahead and slam him That's down. And then, oh, what'd you say? I'm just double checking. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, 
I think there's probably like a strength save associated yeah. with that. It says you can knock the target prone if it's huge or smaller. All right, knock down. <laughs> yeah, Hell so your yeah. claw slams down, the Eldritch energy courses out, and you just completely knock down the All King. Okay, and then I'll, uh, I'll go for that, that multi-attack second hit. All right, this will be uh, at an advantage. advantage. That'll hit 12, 12 points of damage. Pontu would get an A plus in killing school. Oh my god. Is killing school a thing, Kubi? Uh, I don't know. But he would. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my turn. Understood. Okay. The All King slowly starting to get up, coughing up this blood once again. And he's just, I, I knew it. Tainted by the void. <clears throat> I was going to down you, looks over at Kopi, but you, foul beast, you shall be purged. Uh, and he's gonna go. Ba, ba, ba. So we are in retribution mode. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so he uh, brandishes mm -hmm. the conjured sword to the Brahm goes for the attack directly against Tantu. Uh, this will be, so it strikes, it slashes over. That'll be 27 points. Isn't of, it? Go on. Is it because I'm raging and I have, is it? Oh, you have the spirits up. That's correct. So he, let me roll again. We'll take the 17 uh, instead of the 30, which will still hit. Uh, mm -hmm. That'll be 29 points of damage. Minus seven. You'll kind of watch uh, from the radiant damage. You'll sort of watch as um, as he's like slashing over at this darkness. Um, the spirits uh, from Kopi begin to surround um, Teta Brahm. And so he just sort of like dances around a little bit there and he strikes down this time at Kopi with the second attack. Uh, this will be a normal hit. Let me know if that uh, is correct 26 to hit as the sword goes crashing down is there anything you'd like to do kopi i don't think there is anything i can do okay the 31 becomes 15 but the radiant damage cannot be reduced that'll be 10 points of damage ending ten of brahm's turn remo it is now your turn all right let me pull out my ruler Yeah, sure. All right, good enough. All right, five, ten, five, thirty, thirty-five. Why does it say re reload application? Oh, you might have hit escape. Uh oh, reloading. <laughs> oh, don't do that. I, it's too late. It's oh already my. doing it. Oh my God, he's going in. Gmar, where's Gmar? What? what? Remo just disappears in front of us. Gmar, no. Remo, Remo logs Come out. <laughs> I just wanted to click the punch Remo, button we pulled. five times. <laughs> <laughs> Remo! Dude, it is uh, cooking. <laughs> it's cooking? It's it's taking so long to load. Yeah, I can't. To... Game's okay. turning, turning massive. We can also take this moment to do a, a bathroom break while it's no, loading. I'll beat the fuck out of him. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just looking at the loading screen. Uh -huh, it's doing uh -huh. bars. The bars is moving. The bars uh -huh, grows. Uh huh. Cool. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Oh my god. Where's my th punch button. He thinks he's Love back. Oh god. Punch. <laughs> uh, that will miss. That's embarrassing. Yeah, okay. defle he deflects off with the blade. He turns over, deflects it. Another one. Uh, that'll hit seven points of damage. Okay, uh, I also want that to be a stunning strike. Oh, damn. All right. Nice. What, what's the... Uh, okay, let's see if the con save is made. <laughs> well... Oh, my good God. To know, good to know he's a fucking plus 11 or something, yeah. Natty. <laughs> For a 14 check, probably not worth ever attempting again. Okay. Um, another punch. Mm. Uh, that will be a, that will hit nine points of damage. 
And one more punch. Oh, good measure. Eight points of damage. Um, just to double check, is he now an undead? Did the blood work? Does he look zombie-ish? Well, his skin I'll, got paler. I'll just sacred flame him and give you the yeah, answer. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I'll be making a private roll. <laughs> oh, question mark. Question that's mark, good. That's mark. awesome. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh. That's what I, we needed. I can't answer that question for you. Okay. Um, then I'm going to move it, like this far away. And then I will end my turn. At the end of Remo's round, as you sort of charge over there, he's like clutching on to his heart a little bit. Um, you're going to watch as his skin sort of begins the pale of his skin. You're watching some life slowly returning. And he'll look over at Remo and he holds out his hands. Uh, no words this time. He just... Oh, no. And you watch as this mm. no! terrifying, no! slowing magic begins to conjure. Shit, that's a good AOE. God I, damn it. I, Where? I need oh, shit. Remo, Olive, Kopi, and QB to make wisdom saving throws or be <sighs> slowed. Oh, man. Failure. <laughs> No, no, no. I was supposed to be wise. That one's bad. Slow is very strong. Oh, boy. I, I have 16 wisdom. Thing? What is this? Oh, not 20. <laughs> wow. You... You're good. May okay. I add the bo emboldening bond to mine? Yes, you can. But you yeah. can also roll first and then decide to add it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I got to add it. <laughs> guys. <laughs> you may as well. Hey, guys. 1d4. 1d4, please. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh gosh. Shit. <laughs> God, he had no wisdom. The blessed Damn gave you it. a one. The emboldening bond no gave you a experience. one. No, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. All right. Uh, that will be a slow for QB. Hey, and this then spells I... bullshit and it counters just me. Uh, Kopi. <laughs> this counts everyone. I was trying to slow. No, what does slow do? do? Oh, slow, slow sucks. Uh, hey, Kopi's good. All right, the following will happen. <clears throat> An affected creature's target speed is halved. Your AC is subtracted by two. Dexterity, uh, and your dexterity saving throws are reduced by two as well. You can't use reactions. On your turn, you can either use an action or a bonus action, but you cannot use both. Regardless of your abilities or magic items, you can only make one melee attack per turn. If you attempt to cast a spell with a casting time of one action, you got to roll a d20 and a roll of 11 or higher. The spell doesn't take effect until your next turn. And you must use your action on that turn to complete the spell. So a lot of shit. It's bad. So basically, it's one of the worst things to get affected by in it's the game. It's bad. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Is slow so concentration? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Good or it, or, it, be or yeah. it better be. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm going to help. <laughs> help me. Let's try to break his concentration. Yes, it is. Wait, if it's concentration. Oh, Concent um, uh, concentration. So yes. He'll have to roll for when we hit him. He'll have to roll to see if he maintains it. Not he Yeah, but he does have a massive constitution yeah, modifier. Yeah, he's a big boosty to that. So unfortunately, he probably will maintain it. Well, we just got, means we're gonna hit him with as many individual instances. Just a bunch of small yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like a bunch of my punches. Oh wait. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. 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 Kobe. Oh. oh shit. Kobe's gonna stay in range and kind of just like twirl around him to get over here. Okay. <gasps> uh, and then I'm going to. Ah, uh, you guessed it. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. All right. Uh, the first one will hit 17 points of damage. This will be a con save for a DC <laughs> 10. Still good. One more time. Yaddy, yaddy. Uh, that'll miss. Bolt strike. Oh! Do it again. That'll hit. Another con save. 28. Yeah. So strong. Yes. 17 points of damage. concentration is crazy. Yeah, you're just watching. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. He's got slow and bless. 
Oh, you're absolutely right. The blessed would drop. No is bless. The blessed would drop. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay. Thank God. Something. Okay, okay, okay. My brain's like soft. This dude's concentration stacking like I wish I could. Yeah. <laughs> He's opened his third eye with the vampire blood. <laughs> He's uh, cheating. Why did we pour that in? My bad, guys. Uh, Guys, he's really powerful. Uh, at the end of Kopi's turn, mm, Olive, uh, what what do you look like you're about to do? Um. Uh, <laughs> I mean, at any given moment, Don't she might leak. look like she's about to fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, racist. If she's, she's just, like teetering. <laughs> yeah, but her eyes are just focused on on Tenebrum, as focused as they sleepily can be. Mm, okay, you know what? I'm gonna uh, Tenebrum cast a guiding bolt at disadvantage over at Howie. Mother. Okay. All right. That's a critical miss. Oh, thank thank God for that. Am I right? Nice <laughs> try, loser. Uh, Olive. <laughs> All right, Olive will scurry. Uh, this way, so we're not all grouped up again. Um, and she will try to sacred flame to test out if that vampire blood did anything. All right. Yikes! <laughs> it's really oh. liberal. <gasps> Ducks. And he DC saved it. Damn. Uh, okay. What's that? What's that? That thing that people were taking pictures of? That pose that you like? Oh God! What was it called? Some sort of pose. Like I'm remember. not hip. I'm not with it. I don't I remember. Don't was this on Twitter, Brad, or was it on some other social platform? It was, it was on. Was it was this on uh, Blue Sky? It was sky? on Twitter. A lot of I think a lot of Tifa cosplayers were doing it. It was a long time ago. Jacko I, pose. Jacko pose. Yeah, he says Jacko pose. Jack Wait, actually, <laughs> dude, I just shot in the dark. What? <laughs> yeah, that's what Tenebrum it was. Sticks his ass in the air. Tenebrum is is with the memes, He's man. He's downward dogging. <laughs> Jacko pose. <laughs> um, okay, since that is, yes, I can bonus action healing word, and I will do that. As you should. Um, I will heal, uh, Tantu, when you're in this form, do you get to go back to your other HP if you're knocked out of it? Yeah. Okay, so it's kind mm. of like a overshield. Yeah, okay. It's like so a maybe polymorph should... in a way, yeah. Yes. Okay. Maybe I'll just top off Kopi again with a level one. Nine points of healing there. Excellent. As that happens, her back was face. She'll like twirl real quick, wink, and then twirl back towards uh, Tenebrum. Very she's good. so effective. Oh, what she's so cool. <laughs> and turn. If you're slow, do you have to do slow speaking RP? Yeah, I was going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> um. Hmm. Do I want to do anything? Do I want to do anything? Do I want to do anything? No, I'm not going to do anything. Huh. Oh, all right, QB. I don't like <laughs> being slow. <laughs> slow. I will shoot you with my bow. Beautiful. <laughs> the arrows you. shooting in slow speed. <laughs> Ten of Rom just kind of oh. <laughs> steps aside. The arrow, the arrow flies past. Um, do I roll for was something to try to get out of it at the end? Yeah, of, at the end of your the end round. Of the turn? At the end of your turn, you can make a wisdom save to try and end the slow effect. The okay. DC is. <laughs> 17. 17. I am, I'm assuming I didn't hit him. No, you did not. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, he, he dodges out of the way. The arrow just flies past. Uh, um, okay. I, I'll move over here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of all my life experience so I can be smarter to get out of this. Ooh. Ooh, slow Me ends. Meter beat. Yay. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> meter beat, meter beat. He <laughs> can talk fast again. Oh, I think, uh, end my turn. All right. Hmm. Okay, Brad, do your thing. I'm just going to lie back for a bit. I'm Ugh. thinking. <sighs> yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, Howie. Okay, um, all right, um, 
That slow was pretty awful. I'm going to probably fly up another 30 feet. Well, I'm going to fly diagonally roughly 30 feet. Okay. Are you? How high in the air are you going to be? Just say I'm going up 50 and I'll, I'll go across uh, 20 good. and then up. Like, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. That works. And I'll go like across 10 like this. Okay. Just to make it simple. Are um, you uh, Are you angled for a reason? Am I angled? Yeah, you're kind of uh, like... I think Howie's just crooked by nature. Okay. You know? I, I, just, respect, I respect it. I think that just, that, that's plus one right there. Thanks, Brett. Um, I don't think I did that. I don't remember why why it's like that. Well, that um, was three weeks ago, so. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Uh, I've, ooh, God. Damn, I mean, what could I actually do to help? I'm thinking maybe I could just shoot him. You could, like, kill him. That'd be helpful. Yeah, that's not really my MO. I don't believe in that. <laughs> okay. I'm a pacifist. You make like no. weapons of war, but yeah, the thing is, I just I bolster everyone around me. A real really... Oppenheimer. Well, actually, I'll have my Oppenheimer. I'm gonna uh, uh, send a me? crowbar at his forehead with catapult. Is this, that's your new <laughs> huh? <a> crowbar? <laughs> what? <laughs> Inbound. <laughs> Oh boy, he's, he's having terrible this roll, open terrible roll. moment. <laughs> and oh. whip. Please don't hit Ton 2 in the back of the skull. That was no. going very fast. No, 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 we're not going to do that. Unless you oh, want to do that, that'll be pretty funny. Unless you target him. You win. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> in. Uh, I'm going to reactivate ton, uh, my little creature, RT, of course. And I'll mm. do that right now. Beep, 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 beep. I have so hmm. many effects and stuff I have to just... Wow! Uh, uh, currently, oh wait, uh, inside the Eldritch Beast is one Artie. Yeah, it's in the fur somewhere, like the Totoro moment. Uh, he's he's just gonna activate. You see a little light appear on Tontu's back or neck or something. You almost said Tontu. You're seconds. gonna call him Totoro. You're gonna tell him Totoro. I mean, it's close. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's close. Uh, and that's gonna give that to you both Copian thing. You think you got that? All right. That's, Excuse me. That's my turn. Understood. Copian thingy. <laughs> Uh, okay, the okay. Thing. you know what? Uh, Howie, he looks up, holds his hands out, shoots out a sacred flame at Howie. Howie, make a dexterity saving throw. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, oh, is Howie in the air? I'm yeah. 50 feet up in the air. Cool. Nice. That's pretty close. Anything? Looks around. All right. The thing is, Brett, I can flash of genius to turn that into an eight. Wow. Mm. That's pretty yep. close. I just just wanted yeah. you to know that. Yeah. We, we, we've arrived at that ah! level where everyone's fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! And they can pull out trap cards and, and counters. You look so around like... the room and go, anyone who's your plus three? Yeah, you can't accept anything that happens. <laughs> nope. That it actually happens until 10 seconds nope. after. And happens. all the games are like this now. So I'm constantly, before I do anything, I'm looking around like, anyone? Okay, yeah. I'm going to lower the set points. All right. Rough out there. Yeah. Yeah, it's super rough. Uh, <laughs> uh, next up is Eldritch Tantu. Eldritch Tantu. Daughters. Uh, can't talk in this form, and he's driven by emotion, and he just got hit. So he's yes. gonna hit back. Oh. Uh, I realize Eldritch Tactics just gives me advantage on all melee attacks mm -hmm. if they're smaller. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna attack first with a bite. Your defense bad. Your attack good. Uh, yeah. that's a good bite. I'm gonna go ahead and do that strength save real quick. Nice, we did it. Uh, that's gonna be still five points of damage. And then a claw. Uh, 20 will hit for Plus 16. Uh, I'm going to go and roll a couple of con saves to see if we still got a slowed Remo. Uh, let's oh, see. Yeah. Yep. I got to get, a, I think, a nat one on this. Okay, there we go. Uh, yep. All um, right, you've clawed. You have bitten. Is there anything else you would like to do? Let me double check my... Onto sheet. Yeah, I'm gonna Eldritch smite that. Motherf motherfucker. Yeah, that's right, bitch. I'm just gonna lay down prone for a second. I'm just gonna take a little lie down. I'm gonna take a little lie down. Let's see the damage. Hmm. 11, 11 points damage. of force damage. Go gonna to go sleep. at. Uh, so, uh, the last save of 21, 16, 8, plus 11, 9, it still would have been a DC 10. Okay. Nodders. 
Hunters. Make another con save. Well, this is in this is part of your. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, sixteen plus it's eleven. A new instance of damage. It's twenty-seven. Uh, no, it's the it's the same instance of damage. Wait, okay, one bite, fine. one claw, one smite. Yeah, or I see it's like combo. Smite, yeah, it's smite's damage, damage and claw's mm -hmm. damage is added together between 27, making uh, the DC yeah. 13. Yeah. And the con save I had already rolled was a 21. So that would be yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, gets up. <laughs> Enough well, of that this beast of the void. <laughs> yeah, <it> falls down. <laughs> no one fucking saw that, right? Gets back up. Uh, oh, 16? Hmm, anything? Anyone? Oh, wait, this is also disadvantage. <laughs> 16 still the hit. Gonna be 22. It uh, does hit me. It does hit you for 34 points of damage. Yeah, he's done with this form. He's attacking again. Disadvantage. That misses. He rolled a fucking two. Thank God. All right. Remo, you are slowed. What did you <laughs> do to me? <laughs> it's basically the same. <laughs> One punch. Hey, that still hits. That's uh, 10 points of damage. Cool. How's he uh, doing? I'll make a con save. He's good. He passed. Um, uh, so when I'm slowed, it's one action, one attack, done. Yep. Yep. Uh, let me look at stunning strike. It might not be a bonus action. It it's not a bonus addition. action. It's part of your okay, attack. Okay, then combo it a stunning strike. Understood. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I look at our features. Boop. All right. DC 14. Will I make it? <laughs> so yeah, you will. Close. That's fun. So fucking close, dude. Well, that's me. God damn! <coughs> Make a wisdom save, please. DC 17 to end the slow. Uh. Hey. <laughs> Can't win them all. Eh? A two? A two? Okay. Well, and... Not in it, Chief. Oh, let's see. At the end of your round, um... All King Tenebrum will flash out uh, with a sacred flame over at Remo. Please make a dexterity saving throw as you're okay. blasted with radiant so light. Slow does something to dex. Minus yeah. two to dex saves. All right. That's a 17. The minus two was already applied. Oh, you're good. Big. Huge. Uh, Kopi, it is your turn. You are also muted, Arix. Oh, I was muted. Oops. You're good. I, I realized I wasn't muting when I was coughing. My bad. Uh, okay. Um. So is he like looking pretty pathetic right now? Uh, I just want like, I just <laughs> want like an idea. Uh, I mean, he is uh, one second. Gotta do a thing. Oh yeah, the um the vampire the blood he was consuming, you're watching his pale skin slowly reverting back to its normal self. Um but as far as damage is concerned, yeah, he's kinda heaving and hawing right now. Okay. Um this excites Kopi as oh. she's about to dispatch this guy. Okay. Hell fucking um, yeah. Get him um, with the chair. Do me do me a favor and roll uh, uh the attack. Let me give you the result, and then you can roll the next attack. Wait, I just, I just roll once and don't do anything. Do that is correct. Uh, essentially, AKA, don't spam your attacks uh, in case something happens. Okay, got it, got it. So we're killing this idiot, right? Sure. Good. Yeah, why not? Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy! <laughs> As you go in for the strike, uh, it sort of like breaks through a little bit. And as it pierces, immediately you'll watch as the uh, the armor, that the shield that he has, kind of deflects out into wings, holding out that shield and surrounding him within the protection barrier. Uh, so, bop, 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 I thought this would happen. 
Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a, I'm a little fucking stinker. Uh, a little stinker. He's not dead. <laughs> he's not dead. I know you but guys. But he's turning to dust. He's, 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 he's dead. dead. He's evaporating he's fantasy away. In front of my eye. Uh, we got it. Hey, why am I? <laughs> uh, the Would he roll a constitution as well? Concentration ends. Yes. Thus, the slow ends. Yes, sir. Oh, thank God. Uh, ba -ba -ba. The following will happen as he watches as this uh, this shield tries to protect him once again. Uh, well, let me move him out so we can illuminate him again. Perfect. And as he's like kneeling a little bit, trying to recover his wounds once again, he'll sort of scream out, Div, let me your army. Allow me to lead your crusade for the light. And as the protection aura surrounds him, uh, you will see manifest and sort of land at the same time. Ba -ba -ba, making sure. Yes. Two divas will appear on the field. And uh -oh. now I must roll uh, initiative for oh, no. everyone. Again, we're switching it up. What? Wahoo! Oh. All right. Uh, looks like Tenna Brown. What are you doing, bud? His ass is in the air. <laughs> Dude. He can't stop. All right, I'm gonna re-roll initiative. Sorry. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Excuse me. Uh, we're going to go ahead and re-roll initiative for everyone. We'll start with Remo. Okay. Then we'll start with Kopi. And then QB. And then uh, Olive. And then Eldritch Tantu. And then Howie. Yeah. And then Tenebrom. God, Tenebrom. That ass won't quit. That five Oops. turned into a two. We can we can kill him before his turn, guys. Come on. <laughs> so uh, currently he is surrounded uh, with protection. Uh, Kopi, you may continue your turn. As a friendly reminder, uh, the protection mode is plus 10 to AC, plus five uh, to all saving throws, resistance to all damage sources. Any save for half effects becomes save for none. Hawking Tenbrom cannot take any actions or bonus actions while this is active. Okay. Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, Kopi will immediately roll her eyes and start dashing towards one of the statues. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Are you good? Uh, I will also then, let you know um, that these two have vulnerability are they made of wax yeah they uh last you saw any fire spell kind of like melted them down a little bit okay yeah. they're also instagram models yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh that'll be 17 points of damage which becomes 34 points of damage that is attack number two All right, your round ends. Uh, another, um, you'll watch as uh, Tenet Brahm is slowly beginning to recover his hit points, surrounded by the aura of protection. Uh, next up is Tantu. Is he still alive? Uh, yes, he is. Uh, you're watching as the Dib's protection is keeping him um, protected as he is regaining, he's starting to regenerate once again, trying to regain some strength from his inner reserves. Kill the angels. Kill the angels. angels. Kill those angels down kill there. The waxy Are you telling models. Tonti to kill the angels? No, I'm telling Sam to kill the angels because I'm a meta gamer. Okay, but Tonti doesn't know that, so you need to tell Tonti as your free action speak. Well, Tonti's staring at this guy that's covered in fucking shield do you want to take a slash at him in roleplay he will unless you fucking say something so maybe uh, you should Tonto, look at the guys down there uh, temper your rage Tonto. you turn your gaze away from him but focus it on them instead <laughs> Tonto will do that and attack this angel <laughs> okay chris angel very good very good, very entertaining. We love that. Uh, that'll be 24 points of damage. 
Uh, and another uh, 26 points of damage as you're just slashing away this wax. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. I chopped the wax up. Uh, I should probably remove this combat it. This what? This combat it. Oh, uh, there's something else. Um, okay. Uh, are we? How we? How we? How we? How we gonna do this? Um. All right. Let me figure this out. Oh, that's why he's named that. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a million puns that I haven't actually made uh, yet. How we uh, gonna? <laughs> how we doing today? <laughs> Uh, Wait, who are you so, attacking? Well, ho well, hold on, my friend. The range of this is... Yes. <coughs> you are 50 feet up in the air. Yeah, we're oh, 120 feet. I'm good. I think I'm good. I think you're um, good as well. Yeah, so I'm going to huck one at this guy on the left. Okay. I'm going to huck that flame over there. Uh, that'll be for 32 points of damage as you watch as it immediately <laughs> melts into a pile of blood. Yappers and another one over here. Okay, let's see how you do. Sorry, it's taking me a while to click the button. Oh, good. Just make sure you do not consume the spell slot. In your I got attack. it this time. That will miss. Okay, that's lame as hell. That will also okay, miss. Okay, th that's even lamer. <laughs> uh, all right. I guess it's really uh, Tontu could do a small HPA. I'm gonna boop the little the little button again on my waist belt and, and turn that little guy on again. All right, let's see it. Here we go. Boop. Ten. Ten. I think I can get Remo there too a little bit, maybe. Mm, Ten no, you feet. Can't. No. Okay. All right. That's my turn, Chief. And I'm actually, you know what? I'm gonna move. I'm gonna fly <laughs> directly over this motherfucker's head, ready to swoop down. Thanks. I'm gonna move you over here so I can get access to there. That uh, makes sense. Uh, that's gonna be another. Boop. All right. Uh, this one's going to close the gap and attack Kopi with uh, the little multi attack here. Let's see what we got. Uh, whoop -ha! Does a 16 break your AC? Ooh, it just meets it. Anyone doing anything? Anyone? Anyone? All right. Nope. Three points no, of damage. I don't think I will. And <laughs> 17 points of radiant damage. The mace collides again. 16 again. Wow. That'll be another two points of damage and 21 points of radiant damage. Okay, that's gonna be another. Uh, Tenor Brahm continues to remain idle uh, while he attempts to regenerate his health. Remo. All right, do a little five foot, 10 foot little shimmy shammy just to get my 20 feet in. Gotta get my 20 feet in. You gotta get your 20 punch. feet in. Oh! oh and a crit. 24 points of damage. This guy's gonna <laughs> die, but that's a shame because I would have finally got to use my crusher ability for my <laughs> feet. Oh well. Anyway, I just throw another punch. Uh, that will not hit. That misses. Really? Okay, and I'll throw, uh, one more for good measure. Miss. Okay, and I'll throw, uh, another one for good measure. <laughs> And then another one for good and one more for just to be sure. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to kind of stand over here, and then he's going to kind of get down into like a full sprinter, you know, like a track mm -hmm. and field runner. Mm -hmm. And he's just going to get ready. Okie dokie. Uh, with no other enemies on the battlefield, uh, you'll watch as... Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, you're gonna watch as Div's protection drops, um, immediately, uh, because now he has to get into a bit of a combat mode. It will enter soldier mode. <clears throat> so, in this mode, all King Tenet Brom gains the following. Uh, will lose multi-attack, gains advantage on all attack rolls, and now has a critical threshold between 18 and 20. Hmm. Okay. But that might not really matter too much. Uh, Olive, it is your turn. All right, he... 
Oh man. I'm wondering if I should do this thing. Do How it. How many times can I do this thing? My channel divinity is once per long rest, right? Uh, I believe for Claire, it's, it's, now. it's equal to, yeah, it should be twice. Yeah, dependent on your level. Okay. Allow me uh, to, if you, would you like me to double check? Yeah, that would be lovely. Uh, you are currently at two times. Okay, perfect. So you've already used one and you have one more. Okay, not great. Wait, what did I use before? You used emboldening bond, isn't that a channel divinity? Oh, is it? In my D&D Beyond, it doesn't classify it as that. That's oh, I think I just assumed it was. You're, which, uh, which, uh, what are you again? P a peace? Peace domain. Yeah, peace domain. It might be, it very well could be. I can, I'll uh, check. I was trying to no, see if Bomb I... No, Bomb of Peace is her Oh, yeah, that's my apologies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you have two. Slay! Okay, uh, hold on. Let me see if I can navigate this further, far enough. Yeah, that's why it's Perfect. considered so strong. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'm going to do Balm of Peace as my action. Balm uh, of I will... Peace. Uh, so I'm going to move... Whoa. What's happening? I'm going to move here. Okay. And then I'm going to heal Kopi with that 2d6 plus 5. That's 11. Okay, and then I'm going to move she over gives you a high to... Five. Hell yeah, high five as I like ballerina twirl, I, I skate around, uh, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to move to Tantu and do the same. 12. Okay. Uh, I think that's as far, that's 30 feet, and that's as far as I can. Up here, go. Olive! Up <laughs> here! <laughs> well, it says up to your movement speed. I guess that's the action though, so I can't dash, right? Uh, dash. the channel divinity was your action, correct? Yeah, so no dash. No okay. dash. No dash. No dash. Uh, maybe next time, Mr. Howie, I'm all out of juice. You just and try and jump it. Come on. <laughs> 50 feet into the air. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Kobe. Is anybody else concerned about the blood on the ground? Is it going to become something later? Uh-oh. I mean, ah. things bleed when they're hit. Yeah, but it usually does not stay around the way it is staying Wait. around now. Uh, it depends no, she's, on the she's surface, right. really. No, hold on. Weren't they made of wax? Why were they bleeding blood? I mean, the uh -oh. blood will soak into wood sometimes and like... Huh? This is brick, though, so it kind of sticks yeah. around. Doesn't really apply. It's very uh, weird. Uh, so, uh, with that, all King Tenebrom's uh, skin is... Everything is back to normal. He has successfully rejected vampirism. Oh, what a loser. Fuck. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> he doesn't know that was a buff. <laughs> yeah, it kind of was. <clears throat> thank, thank you so much, Brooke, for not actually doing the buff, too. That would be really bad for us. I don't know Wasn't why that you're a boss reward for us? I, I, like, yeah, I, I don't want to drink it. I don't, I don't know why you're thanking me. I'm just uh, saying what the dice dictates. Okay, okay, okay. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, whose turn I, is I'm it? It's shoot him. It's Kopi's turn. Oh, I'm, I'll shoot I'm him just later. Waiting for people to talk. That's all. Wait, I'm not on the list anymore. Wait, why aren't you on the list anymore? What the fuck? You can't come uh, into the club, QB. Uh, <laughs> all right. Good. Thank God you are after Kopi. <laughs> One hour, one life, baby. What you got? Yeti, Yeti, Yeti! Oh, I see. That's what the sounds he's making. Yeah, oh, the yeah, the sounds. Let's get to him. Yeah, yeah, I know you're. I know exactly what you're talking about. I haven't thought about that. Yeti, Yeti, Yeti! That's a miss. That's a hit. Seventeen points of damage. Sword turns towards you. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, QB. I'm going to shoot him. I'm going oh, to shoot him with my bow. Do it. That hits 10 points of damage. Sneak yeah. attack does apply. I'm going to sneak him very bad. 13 points and of damage. I feel like I should clean up the blood. It's not usually like this. I, um, can I walk here? Yes. 
and I clean... really think you can wait. Can I clean the blood? As a bonus action, you may attempt to clean the blood, yes. Okay, I'll clean up this blood so it goes away. Okay. Uh, you watch as the blood from the fallen uh, construct kind of spreads around a little bit. It feels a little uh, loose, like gelatin, as it begins to fall away within the cracks. Gross. Mm. Okay. Mm. And then I'm going to move out to over here, I think. Okay. And I will be done. All right. Howie. Uh, I will see what Kubi just did and say. Kubi, did you just mid-fight try and clean the scene of the crime? What? Why would you do that? It just looks like it's going to become something later. Like, I... yeah, like, like, like we could be found out for what we've done here. Is that what you're saying? N no, I, it just, you know, sometimes uh, the bad guys leave things and they become like missile or like you know, spike, spikes, or, you know? Howie, could you let her be? She's finally turning a new leaf. Uh, let me come down and hear what you said, Kobe. I'm gonna dive bomb down 30 feet. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, so it should be 30 feet directly above Thingy's head, and, cause it's so you're diving down like 20 turn -turn. feet, correct? No, sorry, I meant 30 feet. I'm diving down 30 feet, so I'm- Oh, down to 30 feet, feet. got yeah. it. No, I'm oh. dumb. I'm saying down 30 feet, down to 20. Okay, so you um, are going 20. Okay, all right. Yeah, I, 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 um, I, I understood you correctly the first time. Yeah, you did. Um, the, I, just, uh, I just need to know I'm doing okay, you know? Every you're once you're in a doing while. a good job. Hey, all right, the hey, whole thanks. time I'm diving down, though, I'm going to uh, just freaking, like, reel up a big old one of these. Understood. Uh, you drop a big old Scorching Ray that'll hit eight points of damage. Oh god, the damage sucks. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say drop a deuce for some reason. Kind of. <laughs> a little, little fiery, a little fiery <laughs> pelt. Uh, that'll miss. Okay, I shoot all three. Uh, I only hit with one. Uh, where I don't know what the, what the hell Artie's doing at this point. Um, he's just a silly no, little guy. He's just a little fella. Uh, all right, but because it's like time frozen, I want you to know that during this and when my turn ends, how he is like in full dive bomb, right? So obviously he's going to move 30 feet, but he's still going down. Understood. And he's maybe going to collide with Tenebrom's face. Ooh, I like it. Turn over. Eldritch Tantu. Eldritch Tantu will look down and place a goopy claw on Olive's head and then will bound back towards Tenebrom mm -hmm. and attack him with a flurry of claw attacks. All right, let's see how you do. That hits 15 points of damage. That hits 25 points of damage. Um, and then yes. uh, the second claw will leave uh, a glowing mark. It, the mark of the martyr. Uh-oh. As a bonus um, action, you rally your allies to strike upon the foe. You can see within 10 feet using your channel divinity. Using the beginning uh, of the next round, uh, of your next round, all creatures gain advantage. It's huge. That's huge. Mm. So, that's my turn. As you all surround and pummel, um, he holds on to his sword with both hands, trying to channel as much energy as he can possible. As he strikes... Uh... <coughs> Sorry, hold on. I'm dying. Uh, as he strikes Kopi down with as much force as he could muster. Ooh, that's a 16, a 26 to hit. Anyone doing anything? All right, 11 points of slashing damage and 11 points of radiant damage. Ending Tenebrom's turn, Remo. Uh, all right. Uh, five and... 15, 20, 25, 30, uh, 20. You should have advantage. You have advantage on every attack. All right, I'm just going to throw out, starting now with, what is it, control click? Shift. Uh, it's shift click. Go ahead and roll shift. again, uh, just for Normal. this one. Okay, so 21. There it is. Yeah, so 21 will hit for 11 points of damage. Second attack. Uh, that hits 19. as well for nine points of damage. Okay, third attack. That's a critical hit for eight points of damage. That's a real okay. shame. Okay. 
that means that uh, the, cr the crusher feat can come into effect, which is uh, when I crit hit that does bludgeoning to a creature, attack rolls against that creature are made with the advantage into the side <laughs> of the night. Mega advantage. Okay, well, I'm going to shift click even fucking harder now. Uh, I'm going to spend right. a key point to do a flurry of blows for, wouldn't you know it, two more punches. <clears throat> I see it. That misses, and that hits for 10 points of damage. Okay. That will end my turn. Okay. Olive. All righty. Hey. Uh, I... How close does he look? I'm gonna heal Kobe. <laughs> As they're good. Oh, you don't you don't want to be the one to give the killing blow. <laughs> <laughs> Not in combat. Uh, okay. Here we are. Hey yo. Close. Fourth level that. Bam. Holy Twenty-five points of healing. Shit. Get healed. She does some finger guns. Uh, Kobe will, like. Like go in between winking like left and right, left and right as she's doing the finger guns back. <laughs> she's too cool. <laughs> Alright, end my turn. Okie dokie. Mm. Uh, okay, uh, we really need to kill this bastard. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy! That'll hit 17 points of damage. Oh my god, two hits. Well, okay. Uh, wait, what the fuck? I was... Same roll, same damage. Yeah, no, I got that, but one was a 12, one was a 13, but you still rolled oh. a 20. There's a um, bless, there's plus. a bless built into that. No, mm. I got that, but there were, so I guess the first attack was a plus one, but the second attack didn't get the plus one? Huh? No, plus one, plus two, plus three, plus a 1d4, so the 1d4 rolled differently. Right, what yeah. I'm saying is it was a 20 for the roll of 12, and it's a 20 for the roll of 13, which means... I'm oh. Just, I'm, that's, I'm, I'm just confused. Oh, the, you were right, the bless. It, I'm being dumb. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, what's yeah, It's the? just math. Yeah, math math would be weird. Fuck okay. Math. <clears throat> As you go in for the final strike, once again, you will see the protection sort of try and get get up to fortify him once again however this time it's different you're kind of breaking through the protection the shield itself appears to be cracked and broken rusted away from the constant use of its of its protection of healing its user as we approach this uh, fundamental phase he'll uh, shout over at you enough I have underestimated you. It is time that I ask for Div's gift once more. May you burn from the holy flames! The protection mode fortifies around him. However, uh, which one is it? Uh, you will look up into the, into the sky as he seems to be channeling a radiant energy surrounding he's channeling all of this radiant energy as if it's going into a like he's unleashing all of the radiant energy he has with the shield of the protection um as it surges around it looks like this is something that may need to build up in time a little bit and the energy has to lash out somewhere either offensively to you all or defensively to uh to the all king and that is the only hint i will give to that so mm. kopi fuck's sake why won't you die yeah he's pretty sturdy oh uh, he's he's heaving he's, uh, as he's like channeling all of this energy he looks as if he's on his last leg and brett can i ask you a question real quick yes uh, and what do we see physically, like our characters see on him to you're, to I imply that hint? Yeah, so you're kind of watching as this 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 area here. Actually, I'll, I'll provide this little this little effect over here. You're kind of watching as this divine energy is sort of these little balls of light are surging around. They're kind of providing some sort of vortex. Uh, you may mm. see it either from an experimentation uh, that you may have done uh, many times before. Um, let's see here real quick. Doo, doo, doo. And then I'll do this. 
get that going so that you can kind of see it yeah this divine energy sort of surging around this area and it's surrounding him like a vortex you see a little bit of the energies kind of going in but you're also watching as the area is growing increasingly volatile almost as if staying in this area could also be dangerous but he seems to be channeling the energy inward uh towards him as well so you're kind of watching as the energy is going in him yet the entire area is becoming volatile almost as if this radiant energy needs to surge somewhere um mm. so it, it 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 really depends on like you're watching as like all the energy is kind of circulating a little bit around each and every person that's within the area as well um kind yeah. of dimming the rest of the effect <clears throat> gotcha uh, guys, I think we might need to act like lightning rods here. The, the energy is, is swelling around each and every one of us. If we get out now, it's going to go into him, and I feel like that might just be what he wants. What? So, so what do we do? I think we've got to stand our ground and, 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 and take some of this. Like, all of it? I think together strong, yes. Okay, if you say so. I mean, if anyone has any other theories, okay, I'm not technically specialized in, in radiance. Uh, I'm not much Everybody, of a thinker. I learned a technique. I, I can make a room in another dimension and we can step into there. And when he blows up or implodes, maybe we will not take the damage. You can make a room in another dimension. Yes. That's uh, new. Wow. It, uh, okay. Could we throw him in there? Uh, I don't know. It's it's called rope trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Classic. Oh, that one, right? <laughs> Classic. <laughs> That's a good one. Do, Does that he... one require setup or something? Or that like, would require uh, so much work. Like, no, it, it's, it's the a hole in the time. sky, it right? And we have to like throw him in the air. Um, I just have to touch a rope, and then it's. Uh, like 60 feet long and if you go into the space it can hold up to like eight medium or small creatures and then oh. attacks and spells can't cross through it or go in and out of it but you can see outside of it it's very powerful if you want to avoid something i mean either we take the meta wise above board either we take the route of avoiding this and then he sucks it up or we all lightning rod ourselves and try and share some of the yeah, load i think bit. avoiding it is actually bad Bad? Okay. Yeah, I think we should tank it. I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because he's fucking that... trying to heal again. Okay. Do Should I shoot him before going into the space? Or is he already... Will it explode once he gets hit? Mm. Who really knows? We don't... Yeah, we don't... I don't think we have a good concrete answer for that. Okay. But it's building okay. up. Brett said it might take some time. You didn't necessarily say it's like waiting for a trigger or anything. So maybe it's just a charge thing. Oh, okay. Oh, also, uh, um, is there anything else you would like to do, Kopi, before your turn ends? Um, I'm done. Okay. At the end of your turn, I will be re-rolling everyone's initiative once again. Woohoo! I say we just try and heal up and tank through this. I hope you're right. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm open to alternatives. Nah, that's all I can think of. That's like a boss <laughs> mechanic kind of deal. Either we soak the damage or he heals off it. Everyone huddle around Tonto and Arty. Get that temp HP. Yeah, four, baby. <laughs> Bottom of the initiative. <laughs> all that. Prep time. <laughs> all right. Hey, guess what? Kofi, it's your turn again. Damn, back to back turns. One, our, it is your two, turn. Oh, three. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. <laughs> Miss. It deflects Ooh. off the energy barrier. Bolt strike. Okay. Miss. Deflects off the energy barrier. I believe that was your final bolt strike, correct? Um, I have one more, I think. Okie doke. One out of three. Oh, then uh, understood. I um, <clears throat> wait, question. Yeah. I see, so wait, I can't... Well, okay, I'm not gonna eat... Fuck, fuck, okay. Yeti, yeti, yeti! The 
Oh, you rerolled that. 24. Uh, miss. Deflects off the protection barrier. Okay, he's being a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> God, what a little bitch. Bitch. So a 24 doesn't cut it? Okay. That is correct. He's in protection That's going to be hard to crack. Um, okay. He's not doing legendary things, Brett? Nope. Okay. How he's going to keep dive bombing, but then divert the last second <laughs> and land <laughs> on the square that he's on, but uh, on the floor. Okay. And then so, he's going to... So which so directly, Just the, directly below the one I'm on right now. Ah, gotcha. Okay, yeah. so you've land. Yeah, and he's going to spread his wings out and touch Tontu's side on that side, and, and then he's going to spread them like around here a little bit towards mm -hmm. Kopi. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe Gripper can uh, just be like behind him, touching his shoulder. Mm -hmm. And um, there, there. he's going to say, Guys, I, I think we have to weather this storm together. And then uh, he's going to press the button on his belt, mm -hmm. activate Artie. Mm -hmm. that, uh, have that, Artie. That affects everyone, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I just need to roll good for once. That would be lovely. Ooh. Oh, uh, that Ooh. is uh, amazing. Uh, yeah. Everyone gains twelve temporary hit points. Perfect. Uh, Thank yeah. you. Of course, of course. Um, now, do I have any cool things that I can actually do to help in otherwise? Um, two seconds. <laughs> I don't think I have anything smart I can do. Yeah, no, I, I really can't. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I have literally nothing I could do here that would help out anyone, so I'm gonna use my my action to command Gripper to fly on over and bridge the gap between me and Kopi for the group hug. Okay. <laughs> There's a phantom hand, so she chuck Gripper down there, and, and that's my turn. Thank you, Brett. Mm-hmm. Uh, Eldritch Tantu. Um, Tontu will try and break the barrier. All right, let's see how you do with his void with his void powers. And by void powers, I mean claw. <laughs> Just these hands. These, these hands. hands. 24? Uh, a twenty-four does not break through the barrier. Protection oh, stays strong. God. A twenty-one also does not break through the barrier. I feel like he's going to annihilate us. I'm a little scared. Well, you have a turn to heal everyone if you can. Oh, I don't want uh, Yeah. Yes. Yes. Do. Just do we want to spend... I guess we may as well. I think at this point, attacking him is... is if it's all you it's can do, you should do it, but do. it's not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think healing us is probably the smartest thing. Okay. Or yourself if you can. can. I'm full up. I mean, like, to anyone, like, oh. Greg and okay. stuff. That's my turn. <clears throat> Thank you. All right. Remo. <laughs> um, so, potion. Is giving one to a teammate to drink an action? Correct. Like, You're the application of a potion to somebody is correct. an action. Correct. And then drinking one is a bonus action, or is it an action also? Bonus action. I could apply one to Tantu and drink one myself. I think you would be the first person to do that. In the history of ever? I, I don't think, I don't... Nobody in D&D has I, ever come I up with this. I don't think... Well, keep in mind, usually uh, a potion application, whether yourself or someone else, is always a uh, action, but in IO, it's a bonus action. I'm just uh, saying, okay. I don't think anyone's actually done that before. Okay. Go, you get a potion, yeah. and then I, I would get like a to attempt. The, I would like to attempt the potion you, uh, plan. You don't need to do that. Why not? Because I'm like essentially polymorph, so if I die in this form, I just turn back into Tontu. All right, with, with and the uh, Brett, the uh, track record will continue. I'm just gonna throw a couple punches. <laughs> Understood. Actually, you know what? That's even more useless. I'm just gonna dodge. Okay. Oh, that's actually good. <laughs> how do I? Um, smart, how do actually. I do that? Uh, by doing Take this. The dodge okay, cool. And uh, then I will end turn. <clears throat> okay. Mm hmm. Uh, next up is. QB. Okay. Um, I'll go into the thing with everybody else, I guess. Okay. And. So, it, you can, like, ready a dodge? Is that. 
Oh, you just spend an you just spend an action to take uh, the dodge action, and then you are affected by the dodge status for until the beginning of your next round. You just dedicate oh. an action to it. Okay, mm. I guess I'll do that like Remo. Yeah, it's really good because you take Dex saving throws with advantage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. And I think that's. I'm hmm. removing combatants, so you might be hearing a bunch of sounds. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, everybody. I hope we don't die. There's zero chance of that. <laughs> oh. I promise you. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that? Howie, why are you doing that? I, I've run the calculations. In, in all three million circumstances, we survived this. <laughs> Howie, what oh are you? God. Howie, what are you doing, bud? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Okay, I guess <laughs> I'll trust you because you're a grandpa. Yep, that's Just exactly Christ. how it works. <laughs> All right, Olive. All right, one last time, a balm of peace to everyone. So yeah, I'll like basically ice skate, twirl around, doing little twirls, touching everyone. I'll end up after going around a circle like back. Uh, can I occupy the same space as Howie's thing? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, you can. Through allies too. Okay. Right. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant finish. I, my bad, Brett. I meant or finish we'll in the same space. Yeah. Or is that too complicated? It's a no, mage okay. hand. Yeah, you I can do it. Fine. That's fine. Okay, so everyone gets two d <sighs> six plus five. All right. Huge. Huge. We'll start. Huge. We'll start with uh, Kopi and then go Perfect. to Remo. Does that work for you? Yeah. All right. Remo gets fifteen. Holy shit! That's. Yeah. That's we'll huge, then do uh, it's such a good thing. We'll do QB uh, for seventeen. QB all uh, never punished, already at full health. Uh, we got <laughs> Tantu. That's a seven. Pretty exciting stuff. Not so okay because he's polymorphed or whatever. And then I mean, we got Howie. Helps. That's thirteen. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you just don't like being damaged <laughs> at all. I mean, I'm feeble, man. I... Yeah, he's, he's at risk. I understand. Yeah. What's about your character? Though? It's like Monster Hunter where he needs to <laughs> top up that last 20% or he's going to get one right. shot. All right. Are we good to... Uh, does that end your round? Uh, Do you bomb yes. yourself? Um, I could, but I'm full up. I'm, I'm solid, I think. Okay. Wait, am I? Yeah. Looks like okay. you, I think you are, yeah. Yeah, I think I am. Well, it says also you, any other creature oh, during this other, action you can restore. Yeah. Yeah. Other. So I'll end my turn. Yeah, you're 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 four hit points shy, but you also um, got temp HP for days. Hell oh, yeah. All right. Uh, at the end of Tenebrom's turn. And finally, on an initiative of 20, we first go with Kopi. Because lair actions uh, lose tiebreakers. Oh, Kofi, it is your turn. Oh, you are also, you're also muted, muted Eric. So he hasn't he hasn't done anything yet. Uh, no, because lair actions go on initiative of twenty and lose tiebreaks, and your initiative is currently yeah. twenty. Huh. You're just too damn fast, Kopi. Well, this is very awkward. <laughs> Yeah. I only know how to yaddy yaddy stab. Yaddy. So here we go. <laughs> yaddy yaddy yaddy. <laughs> uh, that misses, but you actually see he kind of looks over a little bit, and there's a little bit of a little sweat kind of forming on his face from that attack, but it does miss. Cool. Guess what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yaddy yaddy yaddy. <laughs> <laughs> That misses. Deflects off the protection barrier. Is he sweating more? Uh, no, he's calmed down a little bit. Okay. You know fun. All right. Very good. At the end of Kopi's round, the lair action goes off. So let's review what this phase is now that we've arrived. God. <laughs> Uh, Div's protection is up. An area of effect is creating, uh, signifying Div's retribution. At the end of every turn, all King Tenebrom heals 20 hit points. At the uh, next lair action, initiative 20 loses the tiebreakers. Div's retribution goes off with mm. its damage divided by all player characters in the area. Mm. If there are oh, no perfect. player characters in the area of effect, Div's oh. protection goes into Div Star mode. Otherwise, Div's protection goes into Shattered Weapon mode. So this kind of depends on your flavor, but 
you guys are standing in the area of effect. Let's roll that damage. All right, and everyone to make a constitution save. We've got That's one, two, three, four, oh. five, six. Ah. Good news ah. is there are six uh, player characters in the area, which means that 77. Nope, doesn't become 462. That would be bad. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. Uh, you're saving for 12 points of damage. Oh, oh okay. That's, yeah, yeah. It, when we work together, it's yeah, not to, so bad. Together strong. Together strong. Uh, all right. Looks like the only ones that have failed are Howie, Olive, and QB. Also, I need Tantu to make a constitution saving throw. Police. Okay. Police. Police. He's right. going to succeed. I'm ready. Is he? How the f how He's the a fuck? giant like creature. The button on the spell in the chat. Yeah, but the, it's on top of the roll up. Would you like me to roll for you? Talking about my like turn order. Which uh, is, you like... could drag the turn order on the left side of it. When you oh, hover. okay, there we go. Yeah, it was on top of the save. So gotcha. Roll it. Yeah, I had that problem as well. Together strong. Would, would, okay, there we go. Perfect. Oh, he fuck. did not, in fact, pass it. Beautiful. All right, so that's gonna be. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, one sec. Oh, okay. Twelve points of damage dealt to who? Uh, <coughs> Owie, Olive, QB, and Tantu. Nice. Twe Twelve, which I believe is just your temporary hit points. So yeah. temp HP go bye bye, which means no one took any damage from this attack. Woohoo! Yay! Together strong. Who am I missing? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, go. With that, all King Tenebrom has en entered his final phase. No, Copy is... made the check, whereas I didn't. I think Howie and so Copy, right? Oh, my God. Uh... Oh, did I not subtract yours? Oh, yeah, I did no. not. Oof. I'm getting, a little, I'm getting a little winded. I apologize. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so we have entered the final phase as we go into Shattered Weapon. Uh, for Shattered Weapon, Smile, also known as the Ragnarok Online phase. <laughs> uh, nice. Three legendary oh, actions. Yeah. All King Tenebrom loses the Conjured Sword of Tenebrom. You'll actually see the protection, that the shield that's been protecting him, shatter. Uh, and is now placed upon his body, becoming a living weapon. Uh, oh no longer using Conjured Sword, but now gains the abilities Grand Cross as a lair action and the Holy Cross attack. And, okay. and that, <clears throat> unfortunately, is where we must stop for now because I cannot continue talking anymore <laughs> it, it is what it is no yeah. uh, damage we will be do one more tenebron yell brent uh brett yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh <laughs> no don't don't no don't, don't do it don't. i was goading no. i was goading <laughs> <laughs> that's all i got in me uh thank you guys so much for playing we will continue this next we will end this next week yeah, next week will be the resolution as well as the aftermath of this um, so yeah, I think as far as the season goes, we might have two sessions at least left before we wrap okay, up okay. season three, but yeah. Um, before we wrap up today, uh, let's go ahead and <laughs> actually, we're just going to wrap up. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> <I'm so laughs> no <sorry>. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, hey, you go to bed, better. buddy. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, I will see you all next week. And uh, and yeah, thank you again, guys. Yeah, sounds thank good. You. Thank okay. you. Have a, have a good day. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.